Are you ready? Because he's ready. It's Master John, martial arts expert, instructor extraordinaire, and general clown. He's not afraid of coronavirus. He's not afraid of the bad guys. Master Jeff is not afraid of anything. Are you guys ready to get Arnold this morning? We're going to do a, what do you call it, a house arrest slash prison slash coronavirus lock-in workout today, which is going to focus on using just you and the floor, maybe a wall. And then we'll also throw in some regular household items that hopefully most of you have sitting around. I suspect most of you will have it. So um, uh, let's first cover the obvious. You got jumping jacks. So let's do a few of them bad boys right away. Let's knock out 10. Here we go. Hana, duel, set, net, toss it, yas. You got it. Do, uh huh, you. Well, that's pretty obvious, right? Another obvious one you can do right there in your little prison cell or even a closet is run in place. So let's do a little bit of that. We can start off at a slow run, like this, no biggie. There we go, running down the street. Hi, Mrs. Jones. Good to see you this morning. What's she doing up so early? I think we can pick up the pace a little bit. Here comes Seven on his bicycle. Hey, where are you going? A little bit faster. Let's catch up with Seven. Let's get them knees up a little bit. There we go. See? So obvious. Such a good workout. Now let's kick ourselves in the bike. Getting nowhere like this. Kind of warms up your hamstrings, though. And then let's slow it back down. There we go. And let's walk out. Walk it out. See? Already. You're breathing hard this morning and you don't need any equipment. Oh, but Mr. Jeff, Mr. Jeff, I'm locked in the house. I can't work out. What? What are you telling me, bro? All right, I wrote down a list. Since I'm so absent minded. Ah! Then you've got easy stuff like uh, mountain climbers. Let's do a few of them bad boys. So we're down here like this. We're bringing one leg up like that, right? So here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Speed it up. Thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. And there we go. See? Easy breezy. Already, we're training, bro. No gear. Got a little blood circulating this morning. You don't even need any coffee. Well, I do, but I've already had two cups. All right, what else we got? Oh, stupid simple. This is a lazy person's workout. We just sit down. And we get up. We sit down. And we get up. We sit down. And we get up. We sit down, and we get up, just like that. Okay, let's stretch out a little bit too. We don't want to pull a hammy, right? So I'm John. Choose a leg, any leg, your choice this morning. Oh, we've gone from 22 to two. Good Lord, I guess those people saw what we were doing and said, no way, dude, not this early. No way. Spanglers, I can see you from here. What's up, guys? You just missed running in place, sit down, stand up, mountain climbers, and jumping jacks. So catch up. All right, let's switch feet. Good, let's 
shake them out a little bit. Uniforms up, feet and knees out. It is casual Wednesday, as you can tell. I'm in my official South Miami Taekwondo painter's tank top. It's kind of a wife beater in that my wife beats me when she catches me wearing this, so don't tell her. Let's pull them in a little tighter. Good. Push them out, shake them out. Very good. Up and over. Remember, leave a little space right here. And down to your front leg. Try to keep your back straight and press your belly button into your leg. And then down to the middle. And then up and twist to the back. Good. Let's flip it over. Remember to leave a little space right here. Press your belly button down on your leg. Stretch it good. And down the middle. Up and twist it to the back. Very good. Let's stand it up again and see what old master Yefu has on his list. Oh, yes. Simple for us, if you're watching this and you're not a martial artist, you might not know forms, but uh, that's easy to uh, fix. Just go to our YouTube channel, pick a form, any form. Probably best to start with basic one or go to our website and find basic one. You guys know basic one, so let's do it. I will do it mirror image in case anybody needs a reminder. So to me, before we start, Yes, a form will do the trick for you if you do the form intensely. If you have your knees bent, it'll work out your legs. If you do not, it's pretty much a waste of time exercise-wise. So just bend your knees. Also, the ballistic start and stop, like when I stop that down block, it takes all these muscles in the front here to stop the down block. And it takes all these muscles to start it. So make sure you're doing ballistic starts and sudden stops and bending your knees. Here we go, basic one. Show me. Let's do it on the count. So we'll be all together, all across Miami. One, two, three. left-handed, then I went to right-handed. And when I got to six, I thought, something's wrong. That's okay, just extra workout. Let's try basic one one more time. Show me. This time for real. One, two, three, four. And then one. Two, three, eight, hana, do, set, net, hana, and then one. Just doing basic one. 
So the point here is, is not to kill ourselves with each exercise, but I'm going to proceed quickly to show you or remind you of, um, of as many as possible. Let's see what else we got. Ah, horse stance technique. Super, super simple. Now, once again, if you got your knees straight and you're doing your techniques like this, you're not really getting much workout. But if your knees are bent and your sudden start, sudden stop, big time workout. So let's start with down blocks with the left hand. I'll do mirror image so I'm using my right. You use your left so we're both on this side. Ready, Hana. Bend those knees. Duel. Set. Net. Tase. Yasip. Yilga. Yadul. Aha. You. Let's do some punches. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Bend them. Eight, nine, ten. Folks, if you don't bend them, it's doing no good. Outside block punch. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And pedal. Show. You see? A little winded. Good. I am. Let's see what else we got. Last but not least, we'll cool down with the little master's chair. So all you need for this one is a wall. You do need a floor and a wall. So if you're floating in outer space, well, I don't know what to tell you. I'm going to try not to pull our banner down on me. So I want our knees bent right up against the wall like this. Not like this. I'm taking the weight off my legs. I want my legs holding me by myself. You can just cross your arms and wait. Let's go. I don't know, 30 seconds. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, a little lower, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. Let's do the last ten seconds in Korea. Hana. Duel, set, net, let's do it backwards. You, aha, uh, you do, hmm, you got, yes it, toss it, let's see, net, set, Duel, and last but not least, Hana. Okay, rest. So that was our cool down. Working the quads, pretty easy. So we'll talk about the hamstrings in a minute. Let's see what's next on the list. Ah, our back and our core and our abs, etc. Once again, stupid simple, folks. So check this out, though. When people do sit-ups, a lot of times in class, I will see them doing this. So you're using your arms like a pendulum. So it's like this. When you want to move in martial arts, you want efficient moves, energy conservation. That's a good thing, like during combat. You want to save that cardio as much as you possibly can, so you move as little as you can. On the other hand, when we're trying to work our muscles, you want inefficient motion because you want to stress your muscles, right? So in this case, with a crunch, you take your hands out of the equation or you even use them as, uh, as body weight, right? So in a minute, we're going to do these things where we go like this and have our hands straight up, find you a place on the ceiling, and as you sit up, just like this. If you catch yourself doing this, well, you just severed the tie with whatever you're looking at on the ceiling. So if you are a spot on the ceiling, I make a circle and I keep my eyes on that spot just like that as I'm sitting up. So my arms are frozen 
And I know they're frozen because I have a place on the ceiling from which I do not let my hands stray. Let's just start with that one since it's fresh. So find your spot. And then we're going to sit up and keep it right in the circle. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Ten more. One, two, three, four, five, six. Seven, eight, nine, ten. You can also take your hands out of the equation by just hugging yourself. Not this. Hug them to yourself and plant them there. What? Two, three, four, five. Switch arms. One, two, three, four, five. You can also just touch your heels. What? Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And of course, we can go to the side. Now, when we go to the side, you're not going to get a lot of motion. Your body's not going to bend very easily that way. So don't worry about coming all the way up like this. In fact, you don't want to. Just a tiny little crunch. What I like to do is set my top leg in front where my back is almost to the ceiling, right? And then hug yourself. And then just little crunches. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Now, if you're managing to come all the way up to here, you're using more of the front. We just work the front. We really want those sides called obliques, right? So then let's flip it over. Top leg in front, hug yourself in one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Very good, very good. Oh, I almost forgot leg lifts. There's all kind of different leg lifts you can do. And I like to put my hands right under my butt in order to support my lower back. Uh, otherwise, I can't do them. I've got back problems. So your choice, you can leave them out to the side or, or support your back, whatever you need to do. Here we go. Six inches. This also works your groin muscles and a little bit your quads. Let's spread them apart. This gets on the inside of your thighs as well as your tummy. Back together. Let's raise them 90 and keep those knees as straight as possible. Like that. Back down, six inches, apart. Six, 96, apart, six, 96, apart, six, 90. What? Two, three, four, two, two, three, four, three, two, three, four, four, two, three, four, five, two, Four, six, four, seven, four, eight, two, three, four, nine, two, three, four, ten. Hold them there just a minute longer and rest. Good job, folks. I hope you're hanging with me. Sorry, was logged in with wrong account. Vivian is lagging. Hmm. Must be this slow internet thing. Hmm. What else we got? Ah, so we just worked uh, the front, our abs, and even our obliques. Got to get that back, too. Very important. This is like therapeutic. Um, they had me doing these things uh, for my back when I injured my back or when I was recovering from the injury from my back. So if you're wearing a belt, you want to turn it to the side. And stretch your body out as far as it'll go. And then balance on your belly button. If that gets boring, you can dip a little bit. One, 
up, two, up, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, up, ten, hold it. Ten more, one, up, two, up, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, hold it, and rest. Good, let's stretch it out. And while we're down there, let's stretch out our tummy. You want to imagine pulling your belly button forward. The objective is not so much to get your head high as it is to stretch your abs. So just make sure you're feeling a stretch in your abs. Good, then we flip it this way. Stretch out our obliques. Once again, it's not so much the position, but the feeling. You want to make sure it's stretching under here. And let's flip it the other way. Maybe your belt's in the way, watch out. Then we stretch it on this side. So I'm kind of using this hand to push forward and stretch those muscles on the side. In between your ribs, feels good if you get it right. And while we're down here, we might as well knock out a few push-ups. But before we do the push-ups, once again, it's not about so much doing a push-up. It's about doing a push-up correctly. Now, there's a wide range of correct. You hear all the time that these push-ups are, quote, wrong. No, they're not. They just work a different part of your body. They work more your... Uh, they work more of your pecs, your chest. Uh, these are military push-ups, or you're like this. They do a lot more tricep work. Um, I started those. I'm doing 100 push-ups a day, every day, New Year's resolution, which started like December 26th or something. Took me probably the first two weeks of January before I could do a full, um, before I could do more than like 10 in a row. Now I'm up to 40 in a row. I've done 50 in a row one time, but that's textbook um, without dipping the body. So um, the main thing is you just want to have your arms fixed. If you're doing them wide, that's cool. If you're doing them down here, it's cool. I cannot do them like this because of my shoulder injuries. You see this? See how that pops up like that? Yeah, that's nasty. I know. Where's the angle? There we go. See it popping up? There. That is my collarbone, which is supposed to be connected to my shoulder blade, but it's not on either side. This one won't pop out so easily. This one pops out and is disgusting. You can't really see it good on the camera. Trust me, it's disgusting and it hurts when I go like this. The shoulders just won't support them. You can do that way if you want to, though. Whatever the case, once again, you don't use your body as a pendulum. So you see this all the time. And I feel like I'm moving a lot. Well, I'm doing a lot of this, but I'm not doing a lot of this. So that body needs to be straight like a diving board. So one way to, to get it straight is to lie on the floor. Oops, there's my belt knot again. So I'm going to lie on the floor. Then I'm going to brace my core to keep my body in that shape. I like wide push-ups. Maybe you can do the military style push-ups, whatever you need to do. We keep our body in that shape and push up. You see how my body is still straight? Let me get here so I more reveal the angle of my body. See, it's straight, and then we go down and straight back up. See, no body motion is straight like a diving board. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 2, 2, 3, 4, 5, body straight, 7, 8, 9, and 10. Good. So there's 20. And you can do 100 push-ups a day. It doesn't mean you have to sit down there and do 100 push-ups. You can do them five at a time, 20 times during the day. Like once every 30, 45 minutes. You get better. Do them 10 at a time, and then 20. Whatever, if you can do them 50 at a time, good. You've only got two times during the day. If you can do 100 in a row, great. You get up to your 100, you're done for the day. Uh, 
Now, suppose you can't get all the way down. Number one, that's okay. Better to have good form and go down partially than to have bad form and go down all the way. So this does not work. That, ladies and gentlemen, is not a push-up. I don't know what it's called, but it's not a push-up. If you just can't do them at all, then go from your knees. Modified push-ups. Still, you lie flat on the floor, you pick your feet up, and then you use the floor as a mold to keep your body in that shape. So I brace my core and lift up. See, my butt's still straight. Not this. Not this. Straight. Two, three, four. Body straight. Five. Focus on your body straight. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So that's a good way to get started if you just can't do um, push ups on your toes. Okay. So that's push ups. Let's see here. Ah, so with the push ups, we're really working our chest, the pecs, and we're really working our triceps, but we're failing to balance our arm with the biceps. Here's where we may need a few simple household items. I started off with this um, idea for this video to use nothing at all except your body, and you can, you can do it with only your body, but with the adjustment of just a few uh, household items, pretty much everybody has, uh, you can get a good uh, bicep workout. So the first one is a one gallon jug, like a jug of milk. Or if you have an old jug that's already been emptied, fill it with water, put the cap on so you don't have an accident. I'm gonna go get my milk. You go get yours. Fancy workout equipment right here. The thing is, all you need to do is flex your muscles. You just need some resistance. So with the curl, even with something, let me get this chair out of the way. Simple like a milk jug, you brace that elbow. You don't do it like this. Once again, I'm using leverage and I'm using efficient body motion. I don't want it to be efficient, I want it to be inefficient. Not how you would pick up the groceries at Publix. So you can use this arm to brace your elbow and then you lift the jug like this. Just like that. Let's go for 10. Four, five, don't let that elbow move. Six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. And of course we wanna hit the other arm. So you brace your elbow, and here we go. One, two, three, all the way down, all the way up. Four, all the way down, all the way up. Five, six, if you let it down slowly, you get a little extra workout. Seven, eight, nine, ten. All right, I realize that a milk jug for some of you is not that heavy. If you're Isabella Spangler, you're probably having trouble lifting that jug. And whoever you are, it's not gonna be any kind of workout if you do it like this. You can stand here all day and do that. What's doing the work then is inertia, right? It's not your muscle. So it's very important to freeze your elbow in place as you're lifting like that, right? All right, so next on the list, um, you Taekwondo people, which is all of you right now, probably have a belt. If you don't, then run grab it. I'll wait. Or just take it off you. That's long enough. Okay. So, we're going to find a wall. Oh, you need a wall too. Hopefully you have a wall in your house. So I'm just going to get against the wall, and I can either... Hold my hands like this, so then the pressure is pushing this way on my forearms, 
or like this. Now the pressure is pushing this way on my forearms or alternate. Then you're getting a twist kind of a workout for your forearms as well. I'm going to start like this. And just because of my obsessive compulsive tendencies, I want it lined up straight all the way around. Now, choose a leg, any leg, it doesn't matter. And step on your belt, walk it down until it's right there, right? Now, I'm just going to relax my leg and lift it with my arms. Don't lift your leg, just relax it. Dead weight. Two, three, my leg is just relaxed. Four, five. Now then, if that's too easy for you, push down, push a little downward pressure with your leg. One, push down with your leg. Two, three, four, and five. All right. But Master Jeff, Master Jeff, I don't do Taekwondo. I don't have a Taekwondo belt. I left my belt in the car. My belt is at the dojo. Master Jeff, what do I do? What do I do? Come on, bro. I do not feel sorry for you. Oh, but I don't have milk either. We don't drink milk. We have, we buy those little water bottles and it's halfway drunk and it's just, I can't work out. Yes, you can. Do you sleep? Where do you sleep? Ah, on a bed. All right, go to your bed. Pull off the sheet. Seriously, I'll wait. Want to see my dance? Go get your sheet. All right, long enough. So you got your bed sheet, right? Let's unfold this bad boy. <laughs> Like this, all the way till it's folded in half. Then I'll fold it in half again. Then I'll fold it in half again. And the better you fold it, the easier it's going to be to grab it. Now you can also use like a beach towel, but even with my uh, orangutan fingers, the beach towel is like this instead of like this. With a sheet, they're so thin, you can kind of twist it like that to get a hold of it right. Like this. And then you can get a, a good hold of it with a bed sheet. Same thing. You just get on the wall. I'm going to use the other leg this time. Put your leg down there. And here we go. One. I'm going to give it a little more slack. Two. Three, four, five. Now push down with your leg. Give yourself a little more resistance. One, two, three, four, and five. There we go. You can put your bed sheet back on your bed later because I am not going to wait for you. But Master Jeff, Master Jeff, I sleep on the floor. We don't even have a bed sheet. Really? You don't have a bed sheet. You don't have a beach towel. You don't have a jug of milk. Well, you can use the uh, Lufarigno method, which is just muscle against muscle. So, first... Righty's turn. I just push down on righty with my lefty. And up. Two. Three. Four. And five. You're also getting a tricep workout over here, except that it's so much easier to push than it is to pull with your bicep. Your bicep's definitely getting the brunt of the work. And then I'll do the same for lefty. Here we go. Once again, I'm keeping my elbow fixed. One, two, three, four, and five. 
Woo! All right. If that didn't give you a bicep workout, then I don't know what to say to you, bro. Then you find yourself a wall or something, and you stretch it out. Plant your hand here, twist this way, stretch that bicep. Once again, it's not so much the position, it's just making sure you can feel your bicep stretching. On the other side, stretch your bicep. This also catches your pecs. You can do that in a door facing or whatever. Stretches your pecs and your bicep. Then for your triceps for those push-ups, we do this in class all the time. Over and pull like that. On the other side, over and pull like that. Very good. Okay, that takes care of our curls. Ah, there's one other one. I've tried these and it just kills my shoulder. I, I tried them one time, couldn't do push ups for a week, but it's called an inverted push up. You do, uh, you get on the floor this way and you turn your hands like this and push up. I can't even, I can't even get off the ground like that because my collarbone just just tears away from my from my shoulder blade so of course be careful if you're going to try them for the first time it also helps if you get two chairs of course there we go adding stuff but i think two chairs is pretty simple to find if you get two chairs and put between you and you come all the way down to here then you're actually curling on the way up like that but it really it does really hit your biceps when i did those it injured my shoulders it also really works the biceps deceptively well. Let's see what's next on the list. Ah, just about anything you do, forms, running in place, master's chair, jumping around like a crazy person works your quads. And that's good. It's much more difficult to work your hamstrings. But there are ways to do it. Um, the first one, and I'm going to have to change my camera. I hope I can change it back. Let me see here. There we go. See the door over there? You can use a couch, or if you have a partner, you can have your partner hold down your calves or right the back of your ankles like this. So this is my partner slash couch. There's a little space under these doors because this used to be the stage of a dance studio. So I'm slipping my legs underneath it, like that. Ah, Charlie hoards with my toes. And then I'm lowering myself to right when I can't hold it a little bit more, and that's all I can hold. So then I go again. Right when I find that spot before I fall, I hold it and I keep my back straight, and there I go. One more. Yeah. So you can do all you can do those all day long if you have a partner to hold you, or if you have a bed, or a couch, or whatever. Once again, I'm getting away from my. Uh, no equipment format, but, uh, you know, that, that, I think that still falls under very simple, easy to find equipment, right? Okay, my obsessive pulsive compulsive tendencies are kicking in. I want that tape hidden. Yeah, the blue tape <laughs> that you saw there, I have taped off the line of the camera, so I know when I'm going off camera and you can no longer see what I'm doing. That's what the blue tape is. Let's see what else we have for the hamstrings. Oh, the um, doggy leg lifts. So check it out. This is more the glutes and it even hits your lower back, just like we do in class. So we're on hands and knees. We lift one leg. Don't let it go any lower than level, not here all the way up to here, and then we keep our elbows straight. This doesn't accomplish anything. This accomplishes something. It works your hamstring and your butt. So let's do two little crunches on each count. One, up, two, three, up, four, five, and six, seven, and eight, nine, and ten more. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, 
two, and three, four, five, six, elbow straight, eight, nine, ten, hold it up, and now leg straight, make circles. When you make circles like this, like this, it just spreads the workout around a little. To all the little strands of muscles in your hamstring, glutes, and back. Other way. And let's try the other leg. Here we go. The regular leg raises first. One, up, two, three, up, four, five, six, elbow straight, eight, nine, and ten more. One, two, three, and four, five, and six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Hold it up. Leg straight and circles. One, circle, two, circle. Three, circle, four, circle, five, other direction, circle, two, elbow straight, three, circle, four, circle, five, and you can also lift like this if you want to, six, elbow straight, eight, nine, ten, good. So that's a good lower back, glutes, hamstring, catches all that stuff back there. Let's see what else we got. Oh. oh, yes, the cross leg sit lift. I love this one. So we just chill out like this. Looks so relaxed. We even cross our leg. And then this one on the ground, you bend it slightly and then lift up. And then you can straighten your knee and bend. Two, three, four. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and then raise your tummy. One, up, two, up, three, up, four, five, and six, seven, eight, and nine, and ten. Hold it up and rest. Good. Shake it, shake it, shake it. Woo! Gets the triceps too. And now it's the ultra legs turn. Uh oh, my palms are wet. I got to scoot over. So right here, we we'll bend it just a little bit up. And one, two, bend your knee. Three, four. And my butt is off the ground. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And now lift your belt. One, up, two, up, three. Up, four, five, and six, seven, and eight, nine, and ten. Hold it up and rest. And let's shake them both out. And then let's stretch the first one a little bit. And then stretch the other one. Uh, there are variations to that cross leg, uh, uh, sit lift kind of a thing. You can also just come here, lay straight back. Start with your feet here and just relax your body. Hands up over your head or here, wherever you want them. Lift your butt off the ground and then just ease your feet forward. Out to the end, hold it. Ease your feet back. Ease your feet forward. Hold it, let's stay forward a minute. Butt off the ground, butt off the ground, butt off the ground, hold it, and rest. So that's a variation on that exercise. I like the first one better, but that one exists. We might as well uh, try it. Then, of course, you got these, uh, it's a yoga pose. Of course, everything's a yoga pose. When you get right down to it, it's like, oh, yeah. I do that when I eat cornflakes. Oh, that's called cat licks ball. Oh, yes, yoga move. But um, I don't know what the yoga move is called, but you just raise one leg in the back and you hold it high as you can. Of course, good for your balance too. But um, if you want to take balance out of the equation, 
you um, those other ones work great. And um, the yoga pose thing works the leg on the ground as well as the leg that's raised. You'll find it's um, a really good workout. Okay, we're running out of time, so I gotta hurry. Ah, then last but not least, we've hit pretty much our chest, our tummy, our back, our triceps, biceps, even the forearms with those bicep things. We've hit our quads, our glutes, our hamstrings. The only thing left is our calves, which are so important in martial arts for your agility and quickness, right? And this also will catch your deltoids. You know it, I know it, and we all love it. Toe raises. So feet together, hands out, and up on your toes. And then little circles, one circle, two, three circle, four, heels up, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. Circle the other way, one, two, circle, three, like this, four, five, circle, six, heels up, seven, eight, nine, 10. Now make sure your heels do not touch the floor here. We're gonna do toe raises, but your heels never touch the floor. One, up, two, up, three, up, four, five, six like that, seven, eight, nine, and 10, 10 more, two, don't touch the floor, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10, heels off the floor, arms in the front, little circles, one, circle, two, three, circle, four, five, and six, seven, and eight, nine, and 10, other way, two, three, four, and five, six, heels up, eight, nine, 10, play the congas, one, two, three, four, five, heels up, seven, eight, nine, 10, arms back out, flap like a bird, one, and two, three, and four, five, and six, seven, eight, nine, and toe raises, one, up, two, up, three, up, four, five, and six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. Hold them up high. Hold them up high and rest with no pain noises. And then right arm up, step over, stretch, and then that heel in the back, put it down and stretch your calf. Other side, up and around. Catch it, stretch it, stretch that calf in the back. Stretch it out, good. Good. Then you can do the reverse of this, which is just raising your toes. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, barely touch the ground. 16, 17, 18, oh, 19, 20, hold them up. And you can just walk around on your heels, walk all the way to your kitchen, get your milk for some curls, come on back like this. After a while, those muscles beside your shin right there really start to hurt, and so you relax. Then you can stretch both your quads, and I don't know what the smack these are called. I actually lift, lift, looked them up today. Tibio something, but you can stretch those bad boys in your quads by catching your foot, catching it behind like this, and balance and stretch. And then the other side, catch it here, catch it there, like, so, and stretch it out. Ah! Okay, Woo! So tell you what, let's end, it is a martial arts class, let's end with a basic three. I'll do it left-handed and try to do it the right the first time this time. Basic three, here we go, to me. Remember, bent knees, ballistic movements. Ha! Duel. Set. Net. Ha! 
and then one, bend them back straight, two, three, Shake them out a little bit. Shake them out and flex. Whoa. All right, guys. So the moral to this story is the old saw where there's a will, there is a way. I don't care if you are in a prison cell. If you want to work out, you can work out. One of my favorite scenes that illustrated this, of course, I'm thinking of this whole human determination thing when I'm watching T2, Terminator 2. There's Sarah Connor in her prison cell. She stood her bed up on the end, and she's doing chin-ups on one leg of her bed. I'm like, that chick, she wants to train, and she is training. So you can do push-ups, crunches, jumping jacks, forms, running in place, toe raises with nothing, and biceps. Nothing. You can do these Arnold Schwarzenegger things, or you can go get your jug of milk. And uh, how about you get a grocery bag, a Best Buy bag, and you load that bad boy with like 10 waters, 16 waters, whatever, and you lift those bad boys. Just make sure your handles don't break. So if the handles break, use three Kroger sacks or a Kroger. That's in Arkansas. Use three Publix bags, bro, or find another type of bag. Put them in a pillowcase. You got yourself a big weight, and you can really make the max of that weight if you brace your arm and use inefficient body motions. So you're forcing your muscles to work. And then you, for the hamstrings, you've got the under the bed or under the couch or buddies holding you. You've got those floor raises. We just did our entire body, bro. Everything. Every side of the body. The whole thing. And it's just because you're willing to do it. So you find a way. Just like you guys right now are in class. There's nine of you left, it looks like. And a lot of those are two, three people on one account. So there's like, what, three nines of 27? You know, eight, nine, 18, 27 people um, working out today. Oh, but the dojo's closed. Oh, but woe is me. No. No, where there's a will, there's a way. And if we ever get hit with an electromagnetic bomb and everything goes out, if you guys can figure out my address, classes will continue. After I die, class will meet on top of my grave. Except that I want to be cremated and my ashes dumped in the ocean. You know, because I don't want there be, to be a place where people have to come and maybe they have to travel all the way to Arkansas, Tennessee, Miami, wherever I'm buried. Nah, just throw me in the ocean. Then anywhere you go, there's an ocean somewhere that you can go and say, well, there's Master Jeff, alive and free in the form of the ocean. And you can train right there on the beach where there is a will, there is a way. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you for joining me this morning for my obsessive compulsive early morning prison coronavirus quarantine workout. Thanks for coming guys and I will see you later. This has been a self-mining Taekwondo live stream with Master Jeff. Before practicing the techniques, learning live stream with Master Jeff. Oh, on stone, slosh, tipsy, buzz, blotto, slammed, plowed, jolly, play, I'd hammered, wasted, inebriated, or otherwise intoxicated. Watching live stream with Master Jeff, you acknowledge the possibility of and leave all my ability for him. A total lacerations of simple fracture, broken over the human endurance, dislocation, strain, restrain, risk, hyperextended elbow, broken ribs, bruising, away, and care, strains, fractures, dislocated, shoulder, or concussion. All rights reserved. Unauthorized presentation and publication strictly prohibited. You guys still here? It's over. It's over, dude.